Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about the Scorch Sky celebration that just started on June 27th and will run till July 11th. So this is a special seasonal event that basically there are three quests, one mission, and one set of collects. So if you go into your achievements, go to events, go to holidays, scroll down, there are three tabs here. This is for the three mission. I mean three quests, three, and then this is mission, and then the achievements in there. So we'll go over all those in this video. In addition, for the collects, the scroll down, there's the set in lava storm. So with the collects, very simple. If you gotten the shiny finder before, you click it. The collects are all over the place. I have not found one spot specifically they're all over so clicking it you may not get the path but if you have the map open you'll see the x where the collect is so before we get started with the quest very important if you're a high level you want to go to this merchant in the gypsy camp and you, you want to buy a low damage weapon so let's just get the dagger So, in the group, I have my Shaman and Bard. They're not needed. This is a low-level quest. Well, the three, initially. So, they don't need it. I just have them on auto-follow because, you know, Salos and stuff like that. So, we're going to go to the NPC. It's over here. Just follow this lava here. When I did this yesterday, I believe only two were requestable at the start. So let's do that. The first two was make them brighter and brighter than the moon. So requests are abnormal animals. Okay, so you hear the first one is just kill, 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 kill. Easy. The next one, actually, sorry, got the wrong one. We'll do Brighter Than the Moon uh, third, just because that's the order. Okay, so the first two, sometimes you need more and make them brighter. Make them brighter, kill, 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 kill. Very simple, nothing problem. Capture, this one here, sometimes you need more, is a little harder if you're a high level. So first thing, you want to make a hotkey for the net. anywhere it doesn't matter so the reason why this one is a little harder is that when you dps things you got to bring it to 25 percent and that's kind of hard with high levels you know first world problems so what you want to do is buy a low low damage weapon if you have damage shields click them off also, if you have gens, you want to click that off because that has a proc. So, leave these guys here. First thing is, uh, actually, let's go over to mob locations. The lerps, stabbies, and flappies, they're all, if you look at the map, kind of where I'm circling. I found those the most. Lava beasts are kind of right on the east side and some on the north. And the steaming stone swirlers are in the northeast.
Okay, so let's find some stuff. Oh, very important. Also, if you're a melee class and you have auto skills set, turn them off. So depending on where you filter it, see, you will no longer use kick for while attacking. Very important. Ooh, shiny. There's a flappy, we don't care about that right now. And here's lava beast. Okay, here's the rat. So what I do is get close to it, and then I'm going to hit attack on and off and turn around real quick and try and lower its health best possible. And that did not work out. Gonna find that out. But even when you kill it, you'll get the little update. The respawn is like one minute. It's pretty quick. Here we go. Another one. Try. Oh, another very important thing. When you net it, it's like charming, so you can't have any pets or familiars out. I got something going on. Let's see. I might have had two world ones. I'm gonna check again. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's charmed. Now we're gonna go back. Yeah, it was definitely dual with Lim4. So make sure you again check your stances if you're tank class or not dual wielding. Okay, so you had so you had to wait for the pet to pass to get the update. So next is sticky stacky stabby. And then if we see another rat, we'll just kill it.
what are you doing is uh, cycle in PC so that you could just sort. Okay. Bain strike. Arr. This would be smarter and easier if I used my bar to track, but Okay. And if you're unsure what the mobs look like near the NPC, they're icons of it. Okay, Flappy. Look at a Flappy coming. Nice. Okay, and then Lava Beast.
you'll see like a little emote you capture. Okay, thanks. I'm just kidding. Next is Steamy. Someone over here, I think. Ooh, being shark. So I'm just trying to kill these for the other quests. Okay, they respawn. We'll almost click it. Okay, and then I'll give the net back. And that completes that. Get some plat, some little experience. These things is really just for achievement point. Okay, so that's the hard one. We don't need what you call it, um, the dagger anymore. We need to kill two more flappies, one beast, and three stone swirlers. These mobs are all static wherever they are so if you remember where they spawn you'll get them
So you notice I've been looting a little stuff from killing. I'm kind of cheating. At least when I first did this, those were not dropping unless you had the third quest. Which is brighter than the moon. I'll explain that in a sec. Okay, now go back. You hail again, a little experience, not much, and supply. Okay, so the last one. Thin out uh, normal creatures. Those were the different types we just killed, so that's why that was updated in my quest. Destroy some smoldering rock piles. These are similar to the mobs. They respawn really quickly, and there's one just west of the NPCs. They are considered containers, so if you have aggro, you won't be able to loot from them till you kill everything or fade. You need six of these. Let's see on track. Smoldering rock pile. Guess not trackable. Not on find either. But as you can see, it spawns real quick.
So one of the things you also need for this quest is a bag spot because you're going to need to do combines. Okay, let's go back. This quest is fairly simple. We're done, pretty much. What I'll do is in the descriptions, I'll also put the EQ resources links for each one. So you'll see you need a item. If you skipped it, just like what I did, you wouldn't get it. So you have to say this. There you go. And it's two water pods and one salt pepper. Also, if you did not know, control left click will take one out of each file. Okay, turn it. And done. Done. So those are the three quests that are needed for that achievement. And that's it, guys. So hopefully everyone finds this useful. And the next video will be mission and the achievements. All right, thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.